Since the start of the pandemic, over 75 million people have contracted HIV, and nearly 39 million have died due to age-related causes. As of now, there are almost 37 million people living with HIV, and every day over 5,500 people contract the virus. So what is HIV AIDS? HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, and as its name suggests, it attacks the immune system. If HIV is not treated, it will eventually lead to AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. In this, the person's immune system is so badly damaged and weakened that it is unable to fight off even the most basic of infections. In order to contract HIV, the virus must enter the bloodstream. It can be transmitted through bodily fluids like blood, semen, vaginal fluid and breast milk. The most common form of transmission in adults is unprotected sexual intercourse. If the virus does enter the bloodstream, then it will target several types of cells. One of the most important targeted cells are CD4 cells, also known as T helper cells. The surfaces of these cells contain two to three receptors, which the HIV virus uses to gain entry into the cell. These are CD4, CXCR4, and CCR5. The HIV outer envelope is covered in glycoproteins, one of which is GP120. This combines the CD4 receptors and allows it to gain entry into the cell. The membranes fuse together after which the HIV injects its genetic content into the T-cell in the form of viral RNA and essential replication enzymes. There are three of these enzymes, reverse transcriptase, integrase and protease. Once inside the T-cell, reverse transcriptase uses the viral RNA in some of the host nucleotides to synthesize a single DNA strand. It then synthesizes a complementary strand of DNA using the newly formed single strand of DNA, ultimately leading to a double-stranded DNA. Now the second enzyme, integrase, allows the viral DNA to be integrated into the host DNA. This is the step that causes lifelong HIV infection. This causes the T-cell to create more copies of the virus. Not only that, but the infection also triggers a self-destruct sequence in these cells, known as apoptosis. So with the virus multiplying and causing the destruction of the immune cells, you can see how this can quickly become a dire situation. This graph shows the changes in the levels of CD4 cells and the viral load over time. During the primary infection, there is a massive drop in T-cells and a massive rise in the viral load. After a few weeks, the body starts to fight back by producing anti-HIV antibodies. This is known as seroconversion. This leads to a decrease in the viral load and an increase in the CD4 cells. During this time, people may experience acute HIV syndrome, which often feels like a very bad case of the flu. They may commonly experience rashes, fever, headaches, fatigue, general malaise, sore throats, ulcers in their mouths, and muscle pain. After a while, there is a balance between the destruction and replication of the virus in the body. This is the latency period of HIV, and often the person is asymptomatic. It lasts for about 8 to 10 years. Without treatment, the HIV virus starts to overwhelm the body, and there is a decrease in the CD4 cells again. If the levels fall below 200 cells per microliter of blood, the patient is now said to have AIDS. And due to the low number of immune cells, the person is unable to fight off infections. So AIDS is also diagnosed if a patient has HIV and is known to have an AIDS-defining illness. These are illnesses that anyone with a functioning immune system won't have. An example is pneumocystis pneumonia. So in order to have AIDS, one of two things must happen. Either the person must have less than 200 CD4 cells per microliter of blood, or if they have any AIDS-defining illnesses. So what leads to death isn't AIDS itself, but the devastating infections that occur due to the person not having a functioning immune system. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections below. And don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. I hope you have a great day.